this is actually part three of the series on rebuilding a little atlas 10 inch lathe and turning it into a production lathe uh, the first two videos I've got out there kind of getting back on track now so I'll put a link up in the top so you can go back and look at those videos if you haven't seen them maybe you'll find this interesting what I'm doing today is just continuing to get parts cleaned up and powder coated and put on I've had parts sitting all over the place and I'm trying to get them at least assembled together so we'll uh, we'll continue to powder coat things on this end the back gears uh, the guards that type of thing We've got the headstock powder coated, the gearbox powder coated and reassembled. Uh, we'll go back and realign the headstock and decide if we have to rebab with the bearings in this after we get most of the things assembled and get the production tailstock on. Then we'll start taking some measurements. I want to get it on a stand so it's solid there. And uh, then we'll start taking some measurements and find out how straight we are and, and what we need to do to have this lathe do what it what it's supposed to do or what I intend for it to do. We've got the index pin reinstalled. And um, that's kind of where we're at. So stay tuned. We'll see some pictures of, of the rest of this going together. Here's the quick and dirty part of where we're at now. We're just about ready to go to the sandblast cabinet. Here is our upper headstock cover. Pretty well rusted, abused, and beat up. I've got the emblem for it. I've already pulled that off. This is the inner mount for the uh, for the gear guard. Here are our uh, counter shaft brackets. These are the mounting brackets for the upper gear guard, and this is the bed clamp that goes on the back. So we will go to the sandblast cabinet, get these sandblasted. We're going to powder coat them up, and then we'll assemble that part and decide what we're working on next. So here is the outer gear guard that goes on here. This is a standard gear guard. I do have the thread chart to go on it. But this will either be modified or, like I say, changed out because I'm going to put the hand lever collet chuck on there. So the one that actually fits this is the two-piece um, mounting bracket the the top section is fixed it's got a much larger hole for that collet chuck to fit through and then the bottom swings away so that you can change your uh, gears on the bottom since this is what I've got right now I'm gonna go ahead and powder coat it up and we'll get it installed well we've got stuff back out of powder coat here we've got our brackets for our back gears they're ready to go back together that's the first thing I'll assemble we've got this inner guard that sits here on the end of the bed we've got our top cover we've got our a uh, clamp bracket that goes on the back of the bed and holds the um, end cover, the end guard. And these are our hinge pivots for the top cover here. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble that stuff. We'll start putting it together.
should have a knob to go here. I'll drag out some other parts. So I've got the tailstock and the cross slide. Um, I'll drag them out. We'll kind of initially set them in place. None of them have been cleaned up yet. The headstock is basically together. There's still going to be a lot of tuning to it. It may, it, it's got to be shimmed in the back gears and this guard has to be shimmed and there's lots of things like that to be done yet, little things, but we're getting parts put together and making making progress with it. This is a turret tail stock. Um, this is what's going to go on this lathe, and I, I've cleaned up none of these parts yet. We haven't even begun to, to work with them. But anyway, turret tail stock you know, at, the, at its full extension will set back there. So we don't have a whole lot of travel on this bed anyway. This is one of the turret tail stocks that, that Atlas produced. I don't have enough room here. This is why I didn't worry about really the flatness or travel on this bed or how, how flat and straight this bed was. Because by the time you take up this much space with a turret tail stock, uh, there's not a whole lot of bed length here. Once everything's lubed up, put in position, why when you index clear to the back, why it automatically indexes the head. We'll have to pull this all apart, clean it up, get it in position. For a cross slide, I do have a complete cross slide. This is going to take quite a bit of work. The apron for this is well worn. We're going to have to go back and rebush it, I'm sure. It's, it's just worn way beyond what I think is acceptable, even for what we're going to do. But the just set in place, it'll set on there. Like, yay, we're not going to use the compound on it. We're going to put a production cross slide up there, which is going to be. I dropped the gib. There's a cross slide that will set up on top of the. On top of the cross slide. We've got the production stops for it, and that's the gib. This all needs to be cleaned up. That'll replace that compound. Alice tool post. It sits on there like that. The only thing I lack from what Atlas actually used was um, I don't have a the back tool post for this, which was normally set up for a cutoff. I've got two of these tool posts. Um, this one actually is a new old stock. It's never been used. It's still got the factory wood spacers on it um, to hold it in place. Anyway, we'll continue on with this. So if you find these videos helpful, why go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like them, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you hit the bell notification, you'll know when I put out a new video. If you uh, have any comments, suggestions, or want to tell me how bad I'm doing with it, why leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for taking the time to watch.